So when we look at the scenarios where enterprises want to use blockchain, many of them fit what we call a consortium model, where there's multiple enterprises working together. The blockchain networks that are out there, like Ethereum, are designed for fully untrusted models, where consensus is established through something called proof of work, which is a huge waste of energy and time and causes these blockchains to have very low throughputs and very high latencies on their transactions. In addition, blockchains are inherently transparent so that any member of a consortium could be able to see anything else the other members are doing. A lot of enterprise consortium scenarios actually need some confidentiality. Give, for example, a supply chain where retailers working with various suppliers, the suppliers shouldn't be able to see each other's transactions. What Coco does is building on top of that confidential competing base where you've got these black boxes protecting the enclave, the blockchain code and the blockchain itself, the Coco enabled network or ledger can keep certain kinds of information confidential from different parties. So suppliers won't be allowed to see the transactions of other suppliers. And because any enclave node trusts any other enclave node, assuming that they're running approved code, which they can verify, any node can commit transactions to the chain and the others will accept those transactions without having to do some kind of complex consensus proof of work algorithm. And so a network like Ethereum integrated onto Coco, this Coco framework underneath, can have extremely low latency, extremely high throughput, and confidentiality.